Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Dorksy and in today's video it's just gonna be me being happy and really, really thankful for everyone. Basically over the last couple of days I've had so many people on Twitter and Facebook and just my friends have been really supportive of me and it's been really helpful and especially in this time when, you know, university work is looming and it's just really hard and really stressful and I'm feeling really anxious and not depressed, but just really anxious and stressed about it all. And so to have all these wonderful comments from, you know, random people on Twitter who have met and just some friends, you know, supporting me and it's just been really nice. And I just want to say that I really do appreciate all the people who have been saying it. Like, I know there's, um, like, there's been two people today on Twitter, maybe even three, that said, like, I'm a really nice person. And, like, I, I mean, I honestly just always see it as, like, if you're nice to people, then they're going to be nice to you. And that's how the world should be. It should just be filled with nice people. And, you know, obviously some people have, like, bad upbringings or get, like, taught wrong by the wrong role models in a way. So, like, I would like to think of myself as some sort of role model to people. Like, today there was um, a guy on uh, Twitter and, like, he's only, like, 10. And, like, I was, like, obviously in, like, the digital age, you can't really tell who's how old people are until you ask them. And then, obviously, when I found out that he was 10, I was like, whoa. Maybe I maybe I should be more a better role model, you know, like maybe stop swearing in my videos or maybe just, you know, just try and act more mature in some ways. But then I realised that's not really me and I feel like like if you swear, it's not that bad as long as you know you know when it's appropriate to swear and when, you know, you're not meant to kind of thing. So like for example, you're not meant to swear when you go to a, an interview unless they swear and then it's sort of like a casual kind of thing. But then there's also times when you can swear, when it's like just you and your mates and there's like no little kids about or, you know, there's no people who you're trying to seem more professional in a way. So like, for example, well, yeah, like, so basically like if you're at like your mates at a skate park, then, you know, it's fine to just, you know, say F-bombs and, you know, all that stuff. But then like if you're at like a family meeting or like with you with your mum and your dad kind of thing, then you obviously not, you don't want to do it then. But um, you know if your parents are okay with it, then obviously you know you can do. It's just my opinion at the end of the day. It's when it's the way I've been brought up, and you know I, I appreciate my parents for you know you're not keeping me like underneath the rock. What's the what's the phrase? I've been living under a rock. That's the phrase. But like I don't know how to. Yeah, basically my parents don't swear unless they like get angry, and then it's always funny because my parents never swear. But, um, yeah, so, like, the way I see it is that I'm, like, a role model to some people, especially on Twitter and stuff like that. So, like, in terms of, like, advice that I try and give, I always try and help people. And, like, if ever they've got, like, a question in, like, terms of, like, for some reason today this 10-year-old had a girlfriend or he had women problems. And I was like, you're so young right now that, you know, you don't have to worry about that. And then, obviously, I kind of thought, well, maybe to a 10-year-old, he that's all he can think about. And, you know, at the end of the day, I could have just said, you know, grow up. It's, you're only 10, there's plenty more women, you know, you have fun. But then, like, obviously, if he cared about the girl, then, you know, it's his opinion. And, like, if if he really did love the girl or, you know, or, you know, he had these worries about um, the girl being with another, um, another guy or whatever, then, you know, those are real feelings. And, like, I feel like people who say just because you're young, you don't know what it's like. And, like, honestly, like, when I um, first broke up with, well, with my girlfriend... You know, it felt like my heart had been torn out of my body. And, like, I could only imagine what that felt like if you were younger. Like, when you were, like, 13 or 14, you know, that first breakup, that must have been torture. So, like, it's not, like, just because you get older, you know how to deal with your emotions a bit better. Or, you know, how, like, maybe some stuff isn't really that important. Like, looking back on it now, you know, GCSEs and A-levels. Well, not, A-levels, not in my opinion, but, like, GCSEs went, went back then. I, it felt like it was, like, the most important thing in my life. But now looking back at it, I'm like, really? The only thing it gets put on is my CV saying that I got ten of them. You know, it's not like each one mattered to the same extent that I thought it would. But, um, you know, that's just the way it was. Like, at private school, it just seemed like it was the biggest deal. And then, you know, they brought it on to A-levels, and that's when I left. So, you know, at the end of the day, it, it's, you know, being about a good role model and, you know, so... Uh, kind of bringing it back to the the main topic is like I'm I hope that I'm a good role model to people and I hope that I'm a good role model to kids and you know if anyone needs any advice then my, my Twitter and stuff are always down below so you can always just send me a tweet and I'll answer it as soon as I can 
and uh, you know I'll help, I'll give you as much advice as I can do. You know I'm not a professional counselor, so like if you know you've got like serious problems, um, you know such as depression, such as self harming. I know that some people can have those sort of issues, and I'd always recommend going to an actual doctor, and always you know recommend you know getting some serious professional help because mental illness is a big issue these days, and you know even in like kids who were 13, 14, you know, some people just say, oh, they're being sad, or, you know, oh, I'm feeling a bit down, but then that could always, that can easily lead to certain things, and, you know, especially bullying as well, like, I, I have my own personal, um, views on bullying, and I suppose it's just, like, people always lash out in certain ways, and they always seem to pick on the most vulnerable person, and unfortunately, that was me when I was younger, and, like, looking back on it now, I don't hold it against the people who did it to me, you know, at the end of the day, they must have been going through a rough time, or, you know, they maybe just wanted to seem cool in front of the mates, so it was just, you know, I know I dealt with it, you know, but then obviously back then it felt like it was horrible, but like it, it didn't, they didn't like torture me. It wasn't like a, it wasn't like a, a, you know, something that really like tore me apart. But I know to some people, especially girls, you know, thirteen to fifteen year old girls, you know, if they're, you know, a bit overweight or you know if they don't like the way that they look in a mirror, then you know, obviously they, if someone's saying, oh, you're ugly. Or, you know, you're fat or, you know, no one's going to love you. That could that could really hurt. And I feel like, you know, at the end of the day, you should always feel good about yourself. You should always have the self-confidence and, you know, you should always look in the mirror and go, damn, you look damn today, you know. So it's just like, obviously, all these little things that, I was, like, when you're younger, it seems like a big deal. But then, then as you get older, you, you look back on it and you go, ah, it wasn't that bad. But then obviously you don't forget the feeling that you had when you were that young. So if ever there's put like people who are going through a rough time, then, you know, please don't hold it in, you know, talk to me about it. You know, I'm always free and I'll hopefully be there if you, if you, if you, if you ever need me. Okay. That's the end of the video guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay. Bye.